Okay. Thank you, thank you. As you join, let's share extensively and bring everybody on board. Uh, you know, this is a pretty, very new account, and uh, we're happy that a couple of you have already uh, gotten yourself engaged uh, on this account. We're going to try, we're going to keep trying to, uh, you know, keep fighting to make sure that uh, we have everything that we need as uh, freedom fighters in order for us to understand effectively uh, how much this revolution means to us we have to keep the faith we have to keep the commitment we have to understand uh, the magnitude of what we have engaged ourselves into we have to also deny to be uh, uh, submerged into the five d's of failure that I will be discussing today. We have to also understand that uh, at this very crucial moment, it remains very important for us to preach a message that will change the dynamics and the enthusiasm of our, uh, our compatriots that are scattered around the triangle of Ambazonia. As you are all aware that this war of independence was not a war that uh, anybody actually uh, went to school to practice. It is uh, something that took all of us uh, by surprise and we must all accept that in the course of fighting the war, advocating for the independence of Southern Cameroons, we have all made mistakes and that is why it remains uh, the genuine uh, uh, submission of this platform that all have seen and of course have fallen short of the glory of God. Going forward, we must understand with sincerity that uh, we will continuously uh, you know, uh, fight to ensure that we keep our views heard and we put everything under guard so that whatever be the case, everybody who is a Southern Cameroonian will definitely come to terms with the understanding of the reasons why we are fighting. Ladies and gentlemen, as you are all aware, it is uh, actually very, very, very necessary for us not to deny the responsibilities and the engagements that all of us as Ambazonians have taken uh, from our own Larry first. It would be very inconsequential for an Ambazonia to think that the opinion of other Ambazonians do not count. And this is exactly uh, some of the things that we have been preaching, some of the things that we are concerned about. And uh, we remain very prudent about uh, resolutions and aspects of the revolution that uh, will not, uh, of course, uh, foster this movement. Ladies and gentlemen, fellow Southern Cameroonians, I'm very happy that despite the fact that this space was just created a few days ago, uh, some of you are already following, it, following up closely. We'll try to build from this perspective because, you know, usually uh, it is very difficult trying to get the message through uh, for, uh, as a third party. So we want to thank everybody who is supporting the revolution, who believes in the spirit of the revolution, who believes exactly in the things that will only help to foster this revolution. And so at this juncture, I will uh, pull out uh, some of my discussions, you know, we had, of course, with uh, the, the office of uh, 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 Miss Karin Bass, you know, yesterday I was at the, at the Congress, the other days I've been there and I've talked to a couple of congressmen and women, I've also uh, spoken with some of their direct representatives and it's very important for us to share uh, the things that uh, probably the prospect of uh, uh, this this revolution you know I read as well you know uh, some people say oh you know what the resolution 358 has been neutralized and I said to myself that there are many things that I'm not going to comment on until the, re the, the things are very clear to me because this is a, a point of uh, ensuring that you do not misinform the public, you do not misinform the Ambazonian people, and for us to understand uh, that we can't, uh, we are not supposed to misinform uh, uh, the people, we must remain genuine to the cause. We must remain committed to the aspects and the things that would change the face of this fight. I will tell you in a bit uh, some of the things that I gathered from the office of Karim Bans. In fact, I talked directly with um, uh, the lady who is in, in charge of the subcommittee for African Affairs, um, we already had a, a date for a meeting. I'm going to take some ambassadors along. We'll probably be meeting the congresswoman or meeting the direct uh, representative. But I also was lucky to meet a congresswoman 
for, for New York First District, um, uh, uh, Seventh District, rather, I think, yeah, uh, Madame uh, 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 Yvette Kleck, we spoke yesterday, the video is there, we're going to put it out when it's right. And so we also spoke with uh, people from the uh, office of the congressman for Virginia, those from Arizona, and uh, many, on that, many other congressmen and women, we've met them, and uh, we're actually talking and ensuring that the plight of the Amazonian people, of course, is heard uh, far and wide. So ladies and gentlemen, fellow Southern Cameroonians, uh, let me, let me very really seize this opportunity to thank you all for your enthusiasm, for your commitment. I'm trying to pull out uh, a couple of, uh, of things. Uh, let me see, uh, where are we? Okay, uh, let me see, quickly. Okay, so I will look up uh, some of the, the cards that I got from uh, those offices so that we can share some very particular information as far as all of these uh, are concerned. I think we have reached a stage of this revolution where we cannot afford in any way to push back on the aspects that would change the, the, the form of our, of our independence movement. Reason why we must remain extremely very, very cautious about the way we push this. And I'll also be reminding a lot of people who have constituted themselves into only distractions when it comes to this revolution and to let them know where we stand as a people and the, the magnitude of the things we believe in and exactly how I think, in my opinion, some of these things should be followed up vis-a-vis uh, -vis, uh, other aspects of uh, our revolution. Now, let me, let me say this very clearly and uh, for us to understand uh, how much weight we carry as a people I want all of you to know that they are already discussing our issues at various levels, various corners. I'm also going to give you my opinion on what I know about the Swiss uh, dialogue stuff because it's important that every Ambassador should know uh, the realities on the ground. And we will also reach out to some of the leaders and we must all deny uh, to be distracted by people who know little or nothing about the aspects of this revolution. I say little or nothing about the aspects of this revolution it means being genuine to the cause and understanding exactly what we want as a people, understanding exactly the fact that we have refused, we have completely refused to, to, be, to be submitted or submerged under lies and conspiracy theories. So going forward, I will start with uh, the issue of uh, uh, the office of Karim Bas and to let Ambazonians know uh, the situation as we speak because that is of course what remains very important that is what is going to change the dynamics of this revolution although unfortunately a lot of people are trying to paddle other messages that would not in any way help our people or help the revolution I think I already understand the reason why many many people have refused to come down their high horses, many people have decided that they must, in one way or the other, knowingly or unknowingly, destroy the revolution. Now, I will start by uh, addressing this video to all of you Ambazonians, because, you know, it remains very important. I have made my diagnosis about the wranglings and the talking on social media, and it is very clear to me that 99% of those who still talk about uh, the issues of division, they are actually, uh, you know, paddling messages on social media on aspects of this leader is right, this leader is wrong. They are actually agents of La Republic to Cameroon. People who have decided that they will do nothing other than making audios in various WhatsApp groups and counting views and how many people watch people at the time. It's a pity that all of us will understand at this juncture that the, the, the revolution is at a point where you would, if you want to save it, if you have the heart of this revolution, you will not think about being loved, loved, loved all the time. No, it's not going to be so because everything is changing. People must understand that if you want to preach the things that are unpopular, but that will serve the revolution. You must move away from the bandwagon. The bandwagon where people believe 
stereotypes where they know that this thing like this is the right thing, whereas it's the wrong thing. And that has been my role in this revolution. Somebody will say, oh, you think you know more than everybody? No, that is not the cause. That is not the case. The truth is that there are people who are blessed to understanding the aspects, the nitty gritties of any revolution. And we will not, for no reason, submit ourselves to the hypocrisy, conspiracy theories, and to all the bad things that have been happening as far as this revolution is concerned. Let me say this going forward to people who probably do not understand what is going on. As Eric Tato, my conscience remains clear about what I stand and believe for, for the Ambazonian people. My conscience remains clear that I have dedicated my life to fighting this fight. I can't talk for any other individual. I can't even talk on, for my wife if she too has dedicated herself. But I can only make judgments based on the support she gives me. Ladies and gentlemen, fellow Southern Cameroonians, in order for us to understand the dynamics and that times have changed, you must also know that as a matter of fact, we all must come together, put our hands on deck to finish this fight to Boya. I am very embarrassed. In fact, I have been disgraced by the fact that the, by the number of leaders who are in Switzerland talking from different groups in one struggle, one revolution that we are supposed to go to Boya. We ought to have had just a delegation that would have moved to Switzerland to represent the people of Southern Cameroons, to say, oh, this is our leader. We are just part of the delegation. Like how our people went to the Fumban Conference and did not go as scattered persons, although the Fumban Conference turned out to be sad. But I want to say that uh, people who are likening the Swiss stocks to the Fumban Conference are wrong, absolutely very wrong. As Eric Tato, I want to say that I have followed the developments closely and the Swiss talk is a necessary evil for the people of Southern Cameroons, if you want to put it that way. It is better than nothing. And uh, I want to commend the efforts of Mark Barita, Justice Ayapo Abine, Dr. David Makongo, and all others who have, John Baku, of course, who have raised red flags when it came to the Swiss issues. Nobody can deny the fact that the output of Mark Barretta has been maximum and very effective. And together with other partners like Dr. Makongo, uh, Justice Ayapo Abine, Barista Taku, and others who have constantly written on the need for, for an alarm to be raised as far as the Swiss talk is concerned. It has caused everybody to be aware of the situation. I was following up closely, and I want to say, Mark Barretta, I give you a high five for the way you have highlighted it. Some people might look at it as a conspir as conspiracy theory, or that you were a whistleblower now and you did not blow a whistle when other people were doing whatever. That could be their judgment, in which case they're also right. But I want to assure you, ladies and gentlemen, that the writings of Mark Barita, Barita Ayapo Abine, of course, just Ayapo because he's also a lawyer, Dr. Makongo, have caused the Swiss government to put out an official statement about the situation of our leaders in Switzerland. That is what we all want. We have also seen how our cause have also influenced in one way or the other. Whether or not you like it, it has shaped the opinions of congressmen and women, especially Miss Karen Barnes, who of course did a wonderful presentation yesterday in total fairness for the people of Southern Cameroons. So I want us to always ensure, to always, to always ensure that we remain very objective and appreciative to the true patriots of this revolution. It's not going to cost you anything if you tell somebody thank you, if you exchange very appropriately with people who have been great contributors in this fight. As for me, Eric Tato, I am seizing this opportunity to thank Mark Barita, Dr. David Makongo, Justice Ayapo Abine, Barista Taku, and all other persons who raised red flags as far as the Swiss talks were concerned. Their approaches and their writings might have been subtle or at the same time very hard, but we cannot deny that it is due to their enormous contribution that they actually realized the Swiss government putting out all the communiques that they have been reading. 
So we cannot, out of conspiracy theories, because of who we, who we like, because we think A, B is not following who we like, or it does not come to the support of who we don't like, and then we must make sure that we verify those persons. Let me tell you something. The op opinions of everybody counts at this time, and we must accept the fact that not everybody must follow our path. Those are things I've accepted. But what I've done, I have only tried to ensure, for one thing, that you have the right to follow A, B, or D. But you do not have the right to contribute monies to people who will not give it for the cause that we are pursuing. That has been my goal, and that is my strength. Going forward, ladies and gentlemen, fellow Southern Cameroonians, you must all accept that in a revolution like this, we all need forgiveness. We all need to condole and, of course, tolerate the excesses of one another. We must all accept that no matter what we do, we all will always make mistakes. It is challenging, at the same time, lovable for any leader to go out there and ask that another leader should come and ask for forgiveness. No, that is supposed to be the place of the activists, followers, people who make commendable judgments. As a matter of fact, I got very surprised that a leader would ask that another leader should identify where he or she has gone wrong to come and the Ambazonian people will accept the leader back. All leaders in this movement have made mistakes. All of us, me, you, everybody, we are all sinners in the eyes of God. And we expect that our leaders should be exemplary. Even Paul Bia, who is considered as a demon, when he went on his Twitter page or Facebook page to talk about forgiveness, he did not identify those who made mistakes. He simply said, let's forgive, let's move on. That is how a leader is supposed to be. I want to tell you that I got, these are things that I cannot keep in me, that it is very, very poor, extremely poor for any leader to come and ask another leader to come and ask for apology. It is so bad, so disgusting, and it doesn't look like leadership. And these are things that we must condemn because who, who were? No person, no where. And that is the truth. And I want to seize the opportunity to tell you the Ambazonian people that leadership is not a position, it is action. And you would all know that in the Bible we have read the story of Jesus as not just a shepherd, as the good shepherd. And whether or not you accept it, a good shepherd would only be behind the flock, behind the sheep. Anybody who is a leader and you want to be in front, you always want to be seen in front, you must all know that there is no way you can be a leader and always want to be seen in front. As a leader, you must be behind. You must stand behind taking guard of your sheep, taking guard of your flock, of your cows. No wonder not there if you ever see a Wusa man. A Wusa man will go there for front cow. He will go there for corner, for this side. Or if he's there for back, the main person, so one man will go there for front for direct. But some person must always there for back. That is going to be the strategy that we're going to move going forward. Ladies and gentlemen, I will discuss about carrying bars, what I got from the office in the, in the in minutes ahead. But I want to tell all of us that we cannot and we should not compromise with leaders who have overexercised political correctness and we are mortgaging the lives of our innocent brothers and sisters on the ground. We must all agree that we have all made mistakes and the time is now for us to apologize to each other and come to the table as a team in order to complete this journey to Boya. There is nobody who is most perfect or more perfect than another person. We have all made mistakes, we have seen, we have all jeopardized the interest of Ambazonia at one point or another. Either knowingly or unknowingly, and it doesn't suffice that if a leader makes one mistake, we should compromise another big voice to be compromised, to ask that another person has been compromised. I want to seize the opportunity to extend my sincerest, sincerest congratulations and women's greetings and concerns to the likes of Fritz Tucker, who is also known as Bush Hunter, that has only just been transferred from Set to Konengi. As I speak with you, there is information that Fritz Tucker will be going to court on the 4th of July. I also want to reach out to the family, friends, and well wishers of Fritz Tucker to tell you all that we are thinking of all of you. And we know that this is a moment of distress. I also want to say a big shout out to the family, friends, and relative of Drisco DJ, one of our biggest activists that was arrested in line with the Ambazonian War of Independence. 
I will also reach out to the families and ask some Bajonian people not to relent in supporting this group of people. Let's understand that these people were fighting for us and we must extend concerns as far as their safety and security even in prison is concerned. I also want to salute the, uh, uh, the wives, family members, friends, and all well-wishers of our leadership in jail, from His Excellency Sisek Ayok Kabe Julius, to Patasang Pan from Galafo, to Barista Iyame, Barista Shufai, Professor Awasum, Professor Cornelius, all of you, I cannot mention all your names, to also extend sincerest gratitude to Manchun BBC Pen Terence, and all of you, Conrad Chi, and the rest of our detainees in jail, to let you know that today and forever, I, as Eric Tato, I stand with all of you, and I excuse myself from anywhere that I've vilified you people, including uh, the likes of Pen Terence. I once wrote an article about, although the article was true, but sometimes my judgment of not publishing that article should have superseded my journalistic tenets for the sake of the revolution and for the sake of the good of the people in jail. It's so bad to see that people who have suffered, who have gone on the ground, stayed for eight months, ten months, and have been under the jails, and today they could see daylight and having their rights to discuss with exactly the people that they are supposed to start discussing with, we still try to party conspiracy theories against them. I can exactly understand how the wife of Sisi Payot Kabe Jilos will be feeling, reading all the hate speeches against her own husband that spent the rest of his money, life and time dedicated for a revolution. I have denied and I will never ever vilify a prisoner. I stand with those who support prisoners because in all revolutions that I have gone, read and seen, even the mistake that prisoners make or they would make and they could still continue to make, they have never been vilified the way Southern Cameroonians have vilified their own true leaders. People who, of course, at this juncture, we must understand that we will never erase them as the face of this revolution. As a matter of fact, ladies and gentlemen, we must agree that substantively we have all made mistakes and we must begin to apologize to each other. That is why I'm seizing this opportunity to extend my sincere apologies to everybody who, feel, who feels hurt in the course of this particular revolution. We have all made mistakes and we are going towards the end. We want to hold all our hands as brothers and sisters, as compatriots who started this thing in the days of the consortium as one person and get into Boya as one person. Whether or not you like it, I want to remind us that I will not juxtapose politics with the interests of the Ambazonian people. I'm only doing justice by recognizing the efforts, the sacrifices of the leadership in jail. To me, today, tomorrow, next tomorrow, and for the years to come, I will continuously maintain that Sisek Bayok Kabe Jilos cannot rule from jail, but I will also want to state here unequivocally that he remains to me the icon of this revolution, I salute his integrity, and I said before that should Siseko or should Pobia try to use Siseko to play games with Ambazonian people, I was going to put Siseko under the bus. But as far as my investigations are concerned, and from what I've known from start to end of this saga, it has done to me that Siseko is not compromised, and I will not vilify an innocent man, because I want to ask God forgiveness for the right sins that I have committed, and for those that I have done ignorantly. It remains my exact honor and gratitude to tell Ambazonian people to their faces, that respect the prisoners and leave the rest to God. There is no way you want to drag me into your political gimmicks and your gymnastics for me to go about vilifying a prisoner. I have refused to do it, and you can hate me, love me, decide to do whatever thing with me. But Sisefa Yok Kabe Jilos remains respected in my heart, and my family and I, together with my friends and compatriots, will extend our sincerest thanks for the sacrifices they have made in jail. Why do I say so? Because, of course, one of the greatest things that is making news, runs on social media, was leaked to me from the leadership in jail. That document directly came to me from jail, and Dr. Kwanga might probably testify. I said it before, and I'm still going to say it, and I will not take stands about injustices that have been perpetrated against people. I want to say it that on behalf of this platform, we continuously recognize the rule of the leadership in jail, but we also deny and condemn vehemently in strong terms the desire by Sisoko Ayok Kabe Jilos to rule from jail. There is no way that he can rule from jail, and there's also no way that anybody can root or probably completely make sure that you wipe out the face of Sisiku as the face of this revolution. When I went to the Congress, 
I went to the FBI, to CIA, to other places, and to many places that I visited in America. They always ask me about how is your president in jail doing? Because everywhere in America, they know Sisi Kabe and beyond as the president of Ambazonia. And I will not, and I will never, ever go to the Congress and I meet a congresswoman and I begin to explain the nitty gritties and try to describe that, oh, you know, there was an impeachment, there was this, there was that, and so on and so forth. I will not do that. I seize this opportunity to let them know that it is important for him to dissolve with the immediate effect the government that he has created. But I also want him to know that why I condemn the fact that he has created the government, I remain solid and stain on the fact that nobody can change what I think about his role in this revolution. He declared independence or restoration of independence on the 1st of October 2017, and that is the history books that nobody can change. Whatever way you decide, you have an opinion, and I accept with you, and I'll continuously say, like many genuine Ambazonians have, have spoken before, that this is not an issue of tribal linings. With this said, I must tell you that every one of us must remain focused on the goal. I have said it, that is my decision, that is my opinion. You have the right to your opinion, and I have done that very purely without vilifying you. I know tomorrow you will want to make a lot of audios, you want to say Eric Tato said this during his live shows, but let me tell you one thing. I will go forward by telling you these five things that is important for all Ambazonians to observe. Because as me, as Eric Tato, I have not changed. I have remained consistent to the truth. I know the truth. Sometimes when it doesn't favor you, you decide to say, oh, this man has all of a sudden become inconsistent. Inconsistency is subjective. Why consistency it remains objective for the true people who are objective. My objectivity in this revolution will never change because that is what I owe the Ambazonian people. Today, mark the date of today. Of course, it's Thursday, June 27, 2019. And I'm telling all of you that let's stop the distraction and go back to the point. Sisi Payok Tabe I respect you and I want to seize the opportunity to reach out to your families, all of you in jail, Manchun BBC, you left your child that was just four years and you're spending a lot of time in jail. I will not vilify a, a, a prisoner. Never in my life. Take it from me. It is the wrong thing to do. And history is writing down all our wrongs. But today I'm coming out, I'm coming out to write out my wrongs because I'm not a saint. I've made a lot of mistakes, if you must say. But the truth is that I'm asking for open forgiveness and that's what all Ambazonians should do. I could not have been more righteous than any one of you. Going forward, let me state it here categorically clear that all of us, all of us must agree that no matter what we do and no matter how we look at it, there are just some people that can never be replaced. Let me say this very clearly to all, everybody who is, of course, concentrating on making audios and trying to vilify Eric Tato. I feel very sorry because this is the way out. One way out for all the people making audios. Only one way out for you. Let me be clear with all of you. I believe in one thing, that only our goals can define us, and our actions and achievements will put our enemies to shame. In one of my most unpopular decisions, I asked and called for protests with the bars. Now, let us be clear, let us be clear with all of these things. There are five things, before I will tell you the breaking news from Caribbean's office, there are five things every one of us in Bazonia must know. Five things and five things that we must know. The five Ds that every one of us should know. This is, these are the five Ds. Number one, because after this, you would go make all sorts of audios. Number one is distraction. You know, people make audios, insult you, because they want you to be distracted. That is the first D. Because once you are distracted, they would have succeeded. Number two D is diversion. When they distract you, you be, your own focus will become diverted. You, you, they will divert your focus towards somewhere else, and they make all the audios because they want to ensure that they discourage you. We're talking about discouragement here. When they discourage you, they would have succeeded in ensuring that you have removed yourself from the goal that you want to pursue. And all the audios that they do on, 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 on WhatsApp and all the negative comments, what do they do? They do it because they want to cause what we call dissipation. 
Dissipation is a waste of energy. When you waste your energy towards other things that are not important, things that are not necessary, and when that happens, defeat will set in. Those are the five Ds. You have the uh, uh, distraction, diversion, discouragement, dissipation, and defeat. And this is what I want you to know. I am strong to the core when it comes to these five Ds. Those are the five Ds of failures that nobody can bring them to me. I will never be distracted. I will never get my attention diverted. I will never be discouraged. I will never be dissipated. And I will never, of course, be defeated. So it should go into the heads of people who want to ensure that they disseminate and, of course, vilify every tattoo. My name is The Smoke, and I ask for you apologies, not because I'm weak, but because I think that as a team we'll be stronger. And I want all of you to know that I don't have time to be analyzing the audios that you have made on WhatsApp. Neither am I going to have time to analyze those that you will still make. I want to thank all of you who still remain faithful and who are genuine fighters and patriots of this revolution. We would never have been better without you following up and ensuring that everything we do go right. Look at our brother and friend, Bush Hunter, Fritz Takan, that is of course held today in Konendi after many months in set. He was flown from the helicopter in Bisongaba when he was arrested in a cop and taken to Boya before being transferred to Yaoundé. Today he's in the prisons. Nobody is talking about him. I'm happy to know that he will be going to court on the, on the 4th of July. Our brother uh, Driscoll DJ in the UK is already beginning to serve his two-year jail term. We all have to come together, contribute monies to help the families of these people and facilitate their stay in jail and, of course, their release. Ladies and gentlemen, I must tell you that I am indeed very, very happy with the way all of you are approaching this revolution. Let me tell you one thing that you don't know, and I want to repeat it unequivocally, that we remain exactly on the position where we are. I have remained neutral, but I want to say it and tell the leadership in jail that they should remain focused, but they should stop acting from jail. That does not cancel the fact that we as a people, we are going to, of course, forget about the evil that you've done by creating a parallel government. That is not correct, but we pray that you understand and come back to the fact that you remain the leaders in this revolution, but you must, you must concentrate on the things that we. Going forward, I want to just say that after mentioning the five Ds, I will address myself briefly to some people who make some generic comments that would, of course, weigh down some activists and to let them know why I'm not bothered about some of the things they said. Somebody will run to Facebook, run to WhatsApp, and tell you, Eric Tato or any other person, that you're going to put you as an activist under the boss. And they say, oh, very soon your time will be up. But it's never going to be up for many reasons that, unfortunately, none of them have the keys to these reasons. When I started talking about the AGC, and I said I was going to stop, and I will never talk about contender force, but some other people will come and do the job. The job has been done, and I ended up not breaking my promises, not vilifying my brother Tapan. But, of course, he he's seen it, that there is no need to keep fighting. And some other person came and did the job and did it very well. It's the same thing I want to tell all of us. I want you all to listen. As Eric Tato, I have told you the truth in this live show today. I am not afraid to fall, because when I fall, I'm going to get up. But let me let you know that if I fall, it's going to be the will of God. And God has not decided yet. The anointing is still in me, and I'm going to continuously fight for the poor of Southern Cameroons. I want to let all of you know one thing, that I am not fighting for those of you on social media, I'm not fighting for those of you on WhatsApp groups making all the audios. I'm fighting for the three mothers who have just died in a bush in Bagan Bakundu. I'm fighting for the children, 50 of them whose pictures I've just received, that they are under the bushes, the rain. And I speak with you, the serious rain in the bushes in Bagan Bakundu. People don't have money to buy tapolins to even cover the sheds that they are in there. I'm talking on behalf of the people who are the refugees in, in Nigeria. I'm not talking to those who are on Facebook who only paddle gossips. Those who are on WhatsApp hiding behind fake names and making audios to insult people who have put their faces out there. I'm not talking to you on social media who have refused to understand the reality. I'm not talking, of La I'm not talking to La Republic agents on Facebook who have been paid and hired by Tanganji to keep, on put, to keep on putting fake audios and messages. I'm talking to the people who can contribute. Let me tell you something. I want to seize the opportunity 
to recognize endlessly the counties. All the county heads, God bless you. And I want to seize the opportunity to urge you, challenge you, not to indulge into government politics. Remain focused with your counties. Remain committed with your counties. You do not have to engage in any government arrangements for you to run your countries, and your, your counties. At this time, you must agree that we have sacrificed a lot of our compassion because of politics. A lot of leaders in the diaspora playing politics, moving from one place to another, only discussing. We also have to ensure that, I was just talking about Bagan Bakundu, you can see, somebody calling from Bagan Bakundu, these are the refugees, unfortunately, so I'm not going to take it, except the person has something to say. Let me see. Hello? Hello? Yes, my. Are you okay? Yeah, I've sent the pictures. Okay, excellent. I'm going to look at the pictures. So, thank you, thank you so much. I'm going to look at the pictures. All right. So, I was just talking about Bagan Bakundu, and as God will have it, they are telling me that they have sent pictures from Bagan Bakundu. Maybe I could share some of the pictures uh, with our our people who are following up closely. Let me let me see what's going on here. So, ladies and gentlemen, fellow Southern Cameroonians, I'm going to bring us. Uh, the news from Caribans' office. Okay, so you see, this is it. Look at where people are sleeping in Bagan Bakundu. I was just talking. These are the people I'm fighting for. Now, when they take heart, my pastor told me the same greeting. He said, My greet any man we are seeing. So, these are people in the bushes. Look at where they sleep. Those are our compatriots. I talk with them every day. I give my lady support. This is what everybody ought to do. Not politics. Not involving in government Rick Maroli while the revolution is being stagnated. That is Bagan Bakundu. We, we have got report that three people died here. Look at wounds on people's legs. Wounded. Children are in the bushes. Look at what people are drinking. Look at water that children are drinking in the bushes. That's Bagan Bakundu. These are children. This is where people sleep. They all need our help. We need to come to their rescue. And we cannot, at this time, at this moment, continue to play politics. I want to say it very clearly, and I must tell you, that you will hate me today, but you will thank me tomorrow. When I started talking about the AGC, that's how I was hated. I used to read my comment sections. I'll have 2,000 comments. 1,900 will be negative comments from all conspiracy theories and it has come back to this point. But I saved it and I'm going to save it. And I want to assure you that no matter what happens, whatever you do, I'm ready to receive all the insults and I will never ever reply to you except it is necessary. Going forward, I want to say it very clearly. Some people would say that, oh, Eric Tato, very soon will put you under the bus. I want to tell you one thing. And I hit my chest each time I say my name is Eric Tato. There is nobody in this revolution that can put me under the bus. Nobody except God. Take it from me. Nobody can put me under the bus. And you can also define yourself in that manner. You can hit your chest in your little corner and tell the enemies that nobody can put you under the bus. Everybody say that to yourselves. Say, nobody can put me under the bus. Nobody. No single individual can put you under the bus. It is your decision to go under the bus. If you, even if you make the worst mistakes, you can come back and say, like Churchill will say, never give up. Nobody can put you under the bus. Let me be clear with you and be very, very sincere with you. You cannot put me under the bus. You cannot. Let me explain why you cannot put me under the bus. Somebody said that every title in one WhatsApp group that will put you under the bus. And I said to the person, how will you put me under the bus? Somebody said, you are irrelevant. I said to the person, how am I irrelevant? Everybody with due respect, it's my right to appreciate my product. Everybody in this revolution presently functions on my software, functions on my, on my template, county by county. That is what, if I die today, I've left it to the Ambassador people. You cannot be using Facebook and you say, Mark Zuckerberg is irrelevant. You can't be driving Nissan to work and you say the producer of Nissan is irrelevant. You cannot be driving 
Toyota to your workplace. You say Toyota is irrelevant. You cannot be going to the American embassy to ask for visas to come to America and you say the American ambassador is irrelevant. No. So long as you have the template of county by county that you are operating on, this gentleman here remains super relevant. And that is why I said that it is your goal that will define you. You must remain completely committed and tell them that shame to you. Nobody can put you under the bus. That is a fact. They will all decide. Today, they will go back to their Blue Army WhatsApp forums, go back to their Blue Army messenger groups. I know them. I have their messages. They will go back there and make two million audios against Eric Tato. I will still come back and I will neutralize the audios. Let me not use the word neutralize. Let me tell you people something. If you want to put me under the bus, you can do one of these five things. And if you succeed, I will come and beg you. Let me tell you very clearly. Number one, come to my jobs in the U.S. where I work, my workplace. Tell my employers to sack me. Make sure I don't have a job. Because if I don't have a job, I will not have money. So I will not do the things I'm doing. That's number one. But the most important one, ensure that you see God to take my oxygen. When you take my oxygen, you will be sure that you have neutralized me or you have put me under the bus. That's two. Number three, ask the U.S. government to take all my documents in that way, I will not be able to travel from one place to another. That's the third. Number four, and which you can never take from me, take my will, my will to do for Ambazonian people. When you take my will, I will know that you have put me under the balls. I don't want to go to the fifth point. So long as you see that you don't control any of those things. You don't control any of those things. Because all of those things remains with me. So how can somebody be talking about putting everything that I have I have my remote control in my hand and I have my TV. You're telling me that I should, you, you're forcing me which channel to watch? No. So you cannot put me under the bus. You will never ever put me under the bus because there are people who have money but they don't even have the will to help. So how are you going to put me under the bus? And the last one, go and shut the doors to the Congress and other places, offices that I can knock in DC. I live in the capital and I do exactly what I do to support the revolution, not for sure, because I think it's the right thing to do. For once, let's be grateful. Say thank you. Say, bro, we know, just be courteous about the way you put your comments. Like, I got, I got an audio that somebody said, say, oh, if you know, say, every time they do this, why not advise it so? Those are the things you're supposed to do. Those are the things we are supposed to do. We all have to understand that I am not perfect. But for the things I do, if you think that I am, I am making a mistake, you all must ensure that you refuse to subject yourself to issues that are not necessary by trying to attack Eric Tato. You cannot go to WhatsApp groups with people who are supposed to be leaders in this revolution. You go and sit, you waste your time to be discussing strategies on how to attack activists. Oh, you know, say, the activists, they say you need to support the man. Move, do so, move, go put the audio so. You are not supposed to do that. It is wrong. And their leaders, I mean, re, the leaders in this revolution, they arrange with activists to make audios and put them out there. Is that correct? You make a phone call, you register, you put it out there. You make this, you put it out there. Let me tell you for something. I want to ask all of us, look at the situation. Some of you have been insulting by Mr. Fu Johnson. Others have been insulting uh, 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 General Nambere. All these people, they are just products of misfortune, miscalculated decisions. It's not their fault. We all have to learn and to forgive and forget everybody. These are great patriots. These are, these are fighters. These are people that we cannot, we cannot submit ourselves to the impression that you have smashed them. You are supposed to look at the people who are causing all these things. But if you look at it, look at it with a lot of consciousness, good heart, and forgive everybody. That is what we are supposed to do. We are supposed to work as a team. And then somebody said in a WhatsApp group that, oh, we're going to follow every title for a national telegraph. Please, please, I want you to know one thing, that you must know this today. You see, national telegraph, it is not an Ambazonian following. It is not an Ambazonian following. National Telegraph has a global audience, and it's a page. We have the way we look at the strength. There are things that the Amin looks at. If I want everybody in Washington, D.C. to see Telegraph, I will make it to go to everybody in D.C. I will pay money. Facebook will do it. So do not talk about following. It is no longer important. That is why there is no way I can expect you to be happy with me, because I am not God. I will only come and ask you to forgive me when I make mistakes. And we must all agree that we are making those mistakes. Yesterday, Cho Ayaba, 
and the other people were calling me baby journalists and tribalists. And all of you who are today trying to use the same name on me, you were hailing me saying, no, Eric Tato is the best, he's this, he's that. And I successfully fought the battle and Dr. Cho and the rest, they are not taking it as any issue because it's part of the revolution. Today you are going back to use the same words that those you used to insult were using. Now you see that that is my uniqueness. That is why I have the strength. Because you rig my whole around the same conspiracy theories. You rig my whole around. You rig my whole around. My hands still remain clean. And I remain super involved with contributions. Five things that we must strengthen. I brought up a very important agenda where some of you try to criticize. I talk of the refugees. And we have refused to understand that we must agree that if we have our government, and if the government makes a mistake, we must come out to say, this is what is wrong, this is what is right. Take for example, all those of you in the Blue Army, I know the Blue Army because I am in the Blue Army. I am in the Blue Army, I have my source there. That is why yesterday when somebody made a comment in a, 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 a what, Ambazonian mission of Fongo I immediately had the comment that was made by Anya Kirby, and I replied to it. So I am everywhere, I'm in the worst of groups, Every if you don't see me there. I have my people there that will give me information. I know people who write. That's why I don't even get, have time to reply in those things. So, take it from me. Where Refugee Day started on, it's usually on the 20th of every month. It started on the, on the 17th. That Mr. Tem Martin started following up Where Refugee Day. Where Refugee Day was 17, 18, 19, 20. On the 20th is a D day. All refugees were celebrating. And we have an IG. And we have a TV station. And the idea has been using TV station, they have been saying a lot of things, saying this, saying that. But nobody, whether from the, all the leaders, but I go to the IG because that is what I love. And I want to tell people, when I used to criticize the AGC, I used to still come occasionally and criticize Dr. Sako and the IG. And you poised to clap, you saw my objectivity. But today, because you already have yourself sought in a political atmosphere, you don't, your, your, your vision is blocked. Now, somebody said the IG actually gave a message to the refugees. And I said, the IG do not give no message. Refugees, there are one million refugees. It's supposed to be a priority on the way refugee. They were supposed to normally have a special speech from our president about the way refugee day. If you want to challenge me, tell me what else is most important in this crisis than refugees. In the bushes, they are there. You have seen pictures from Baga Bagudu. I was just talking like, as God will have it, they just called. They are in the bushes. We have refugees in La Republic, refugees in Nigeria, Ethiopia, everywhere. But because of politics, no leader, including our own president, our own president could not make a speech in English and pigeon for the refugees. Then some of you came out there, you went and picked a small trash, a quarter paper trash, inconsequential paper from the war of ABC. You come and you are parading it. That all oh, they make a statement. Let me disgrace you. Number one. How many refugees will read that thing that was on that wall? That's the first question. And you know the surprising thing? It's a shame that you decided to expose yourself like that. It is after I said many times and many things I did about the refugees that they, 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 our government, my government, because of the government and us, that they ran back to their wall. They went and did a document and posted, heavily posted, a crazy document for refugees. If the UN can spend money, millions, to trans work with the United States to remove people from Cameroon, to remove the priests from Cameroon, to come and talk about refugees here in, in, in New York. Everywhere we go to, in these offices, we put the humanitarian in front. Everywhere we raise money is humanitarian. Yet, our own government could not come and talk about refugees on World Refugee Day, could not make a speech on World Refugee Day. And you people are here, you are clapping because you have shown yourself. You are so, so, so yourself in a, an evil. That you have not realized. And then you bring me a document that the, the, this document was where well refugee did. Go and look when they posted that document. They posted that document at exactly 6.50 p.m. American time. Which means that on the 20th, which means that it was already, it was already, if it is five hours different, it was 10 minutes to midnight on Grand Zero. 10 minutes to midnight on Grand Zero and in Nigeria. Refugees will be up waiting for that kind of message. And yet you have interviews, one interviews after the other. You arrange audios only to clean yourself, to make you short, make you look good, all of those things. 
because you want to be good. Listen, I have said that we have to stop window dressing. We are not going to have window dressing. And I want to seize the opportunity to announce to all of you that I was called to come and do the audit that should be part of the panel for the audit. I want to recuse myself. I'm not going to do those kind of things no more. I'm never going to do them because that is the truth. We must remain true to ourselves. You will not take people to come and fulfill your agenda. I'm not body surrogate. I've said that I'm going to continuously fight for the people who are suffering. You can love me, hate me. I don't care no more. Because if I want to care too much about who loves Eric Tato, who hates him, I'm never going to do nothing. When I go to the Congress, I go for Ambazonia. When I go to the Congress, I carry the flag. I don't carry Sisoka Yoke in my neck. I don't carry Sako here. I don't carry Akwanga here. I go to the Congress. I go to places. This weekend, I'll be flying to Chicago for the people of Ambazonia. I'm not going there because of my village. I'm going because of Ambazonia. So we must all know the facts that we cannot continuously to pretend in this matter. We have made mistakes and we should accept it. Don't be covering, going this side, coming this way, calling people to make audios, making you look good, making that, calling people generous to make videos, to support you. When they lie, you people go back to the blue army. You go and bring people to come and vilify the same generals. Look at what you put it to Namere. He made his mistakes. But is that right what you put it to him? That somebody caused somebody to sin and you put instead came and you flushed that person out because he didn't have nobody to speak for him. These are things we must avoid going forward. I want to tell you that the popular side that I see now is not the same popular side I used to see before. There are a lot of things that are going on and we all, we must stay on the track to save this revolution. I want to tell you that the bandwagon doesn't work. If the bandwagon, the comments that I see, the way you put flow on Facebook, if we were working, would have been able to be raising money to pay our TV bills. Yet, you make all the noise and you give artificial, artificial, one person has 20 profiles. You people have gone worse than the days when the AG is supposed to create fake profiles. You people are doing the same with this IG. You have become so bad that you are in the blue army. One of you, you have 50 profiles. I'm in the blue army. I know what is going on. I can name some of you, Steve Nebong. You are administrator of the blue army. I know what I'm saying. You are the admin of the blue army WhatsApp group. You put have a WhatsApp group, you have a messenger group, and what you do is that you discuss people, you discuss activists. Even you have big people in the IG who come to the, to the group to hold meetings with you, discuss how you are going to put that messages against activists. That's why I've read you the five Ds that have conquered you people. That's why I will tell all of you that you should know, those of you of the Blue Army, that I want you to shun that evil that you are trying to make, the monster that you are trying to build against the blood of our people that have been spilled on the ground. I've come today to speak the truth to your bones, so that you should know one thing, the same thing that I used to tell Cho Ayaba. I'm still telling you people today that you are going that very hard. And be sure that you're going to destroy yourself. Because this revolution, I've come here not with interest, but I've come to tell you the truth. That I stand my guns and I respect prisoners. I respect their wives, their children. I respect the refugees on the ground. We will not submit ourselves to a group of 10, 15 people who have created 200 fake profiles per person and you're out there. And we have some people who are following the bandwagon effect in my small brother in, in Italy, Clovis, who does not even know what is going on. He does not know that there are people in the group that have been coordinated by people in the IG who they make sure that they come and do audios, do videos, do this because they want to put somebody good. The time has passed, ladies and gentlemen. I still support the IG, the legitimate IG. That is out there, not the IG in Kondengi. But I have to tell the IG the truth that people should stop, come out from that blue army now and pacify social media. A leader cannot come and ask another leader that come and ask forgiveness as if he's so pure. That is not supposed to be the case. We all must accept that if we want to unite, we must condemn those who are causing division on social media. We must condemn a republic attitude. We have had enough from you, from your blue army, and you will not work anymore with me. I pray that God forgives your soul. You cannot constitute yourselves into groups because you have described activists as inconsequential, irrelevant, and you think that you go back to those WhatsApp programs to go and make all the audios and put out there. Oh, Eric Tato, you have no longer been viewed. Who tells you that? I make one audio or make one stop, put it on national telegram, I, I check it out. Thousands of people, millions come there to look at what I've written. I'm not going to talk about views here because that is not necessary. That is not what we are going to. But let me tell you something. You can never, ever break me down. And I stand to speak the truth and I speak the truth with power. You can call me tribalistic or whatever because that is the name that I use in defeating Cho Ayab and the rest. And I will use that name in defeating you all of the Blue Army. I will not, never, ever submit to your egocentrism, to your love and more for love for money and political positions because I've had enough from you people. We must accept 
that we have made the mistakes all as a team. And to come back, we must come back with strength. You take people to write lies, part of conspiracy theories against prisoners because you want to impeach or vilify them. We have to stop all this rubbish and come to the table, talk like brothers, and move forward. I will not be submitted to your lies, to your pattern of gossip and conspiracy theories. I've had enough from you people. You all should know by now that you are 20 perfect profiles in one person. 100 fake profiles in one person. That is why we still owe TV bills. We still owe ABC has six bonds, accumulated bills. If you had all the support for our IG on social media, why don't you pay the bills? Why don't you pay the bills? That's the question I ask you. I want to tell you something. I am not afraid to be hated when I speak the truth because this is what I do best. And I've stayed quiet for too long. And let me tell you, we are going to unite. We are going to unite. I love when I'm called a bully by some few people because that means I'm speaking the truth. The same way the agency people used to call me bullies. Listen, some of you have become worse than the same Cho Ayaba that you put to insult. I see a lot of reason. You have become worse than him because you are using the same word that he used when he doesn't have an argument. I go to places as Ambazonian. I'm going to fly to Chicago. I'll go as an Ambazonian to support the poor of Chicago. By the way, let me seize the opportunity to read this announcement from Chicago and uh, to congratulate all the people in Chicago, to all the Ambazonians in Illinois. I want to congratulate you all and to also tell our brothers and sisters in Banga Bakundu that I've received your images and God is going to bless you. I'm going to do something to act. Now, I want to go to Chicago. I want to thank everybody in Chicago and to say that we should not miss this big event. By Mr. Fu John so our Secretary of Communication, Secretary Chris Annie, Dr. Valentine Ghana, Dr. Carson, Professor Carson Anyangwe, and Professor Agbo Dima, all of them that are going to be there, I'm going to be there to cover life, will be there to meet uh, Congressman Danny K. Davis of the 7th Congressional District of the State of Illinois. That event is going to take place on Saturday, June 29, 2019, from 2 p.m. to 4 p.m. prompt, and the venue is going to be St. Joseph Church, uh, 2901 W Monroe, Monroe Street, Chicago, Illinois. I will be there, and I want to thank the poor of Chicago for giving me the privilege all the time. Chicago is my second state after MD. So thank you, poor, very much. Going forward, I want to say, say this to the poor of the Blue Army. All of you are sworn in your Blue Army. I know this night you will not sleep. You will make audios upon audios. Do something constructive with your time. Look at what's happening down. They have just killed people in Sabga. Yesterday was in my audio. They killed four people in Sabga. They dumped them there, wasted. They are just there. And you come here, they, you know what this bandwagon, bandwagon is, and that is the effect that they are doing. They go to those groups, they come and form bandwagon. They try to make people to follow them. So they come like 50-50 per profile. They sign in, sign out. The same thing that the agency used to do. And post that following, thinking that they are speaking the truth. But every title is here to always come and change the narrative. When I announced that bars is good, all of you, the Blue Army, you championed the verification. You said I was a federalist. You brought all sorts of conspiracy theories. You said everything. And it is simple. I told Mark Barita. He called me and said, bro, master, let's leave this there. I said, bro, no problem. He ever said a joint statement. Mark will always be a good man to me, no matter how people view him. But I respect him because he has his short, shortcomings. I cannot come and vilify Mark here on social media. But I've told Mark on a lot of things that he, as a person, must adjust. I said, I'm going to go to the bus. I went to the bus, and I knew it was going to be a success. Had it been all Ambazonians joined me, we would have done better. But I, do not, I will not blame any Ambazonian for not joining me because I explained to the bus people that I understood your frustration. I understood it was out of the passion. Not to, the fact that you even boycotted it, that is what even gave the strength of the event, I must say. God is not stupid. God is working hard to ensure that everything goes out the way it is supposed to be. Ask yourself the questions. Look at the people, the likes of some fake profiles, like the messenger and the dash white and the other people who are there. You, why Have you asked yourself that? Why only five of you are only writing the same message and the rest of the people are writing the right thing? So you have to readjust. You have to look at where the path is. They, they, they change. If you people were successful, what you were saying on social media is the case, then you would have been contributing money to pay TV bills. Let me also see the opportunity to acknowledge the poor of, um, of Philippines. I have received the last 770 something dollars that you post sent to brother, one of our brothers there. So it, there's a total of seven plus uh, over $1,200.
that I've received. I also received $100 yesterday from one of our mothers who gave me that, oh, I should take care of refugees. I stopped, but I've decided to send that $100 to Madame Pentacosta, who has a refugee house in uh, Nigeria. She's been doing a great job. And then there's another woman who gave me $100 in, uh, in Chicago. I announced it in front of the people of Chicago. I'm going to send that money to refugees, probably to Mr. Ted Martin or to any other area that uh, I will decide to direct. All what we have done, that you have seen that we have done for refugees, we did not take money from anybody. Uh, we did that from our pocket, from National Telegraph. We supported them the way we, we, we support. I want to thank all of you. This is a pretty new page. We'll try to manage the page. Whatever happens, we can always create a new one. We'll always announce. So I want to thank you all to understand that we have to come as a team. Now, I will go to this very important aspect for us to know that if you want to be a leader, learn to be objective, learn to be truthful, learn to be peaceful, learn not to portray yourself as being always correct. That is what is wrong. I saw a quote where one of our leaders was asking Sisiku to come and ask for forgiveness. That is so bizarre, that's so disastrous, and that is so bad, and it's something that is not supposed to be done by no leader on earth. Even Paul Biao is a bad dictator, he's a worse man, he's a criminal, he's a genocider. Paul Biao did not do that kind of format when he was asking for forgiveness. We must all accept that we have all made mistakes. Going forward, I want to say that I was at the office of uh, this, uh, uh, Madame uh, Miss Caribas, and I spoke with, his, with her exact uh, representative, uh, because uh, he was, uh, she was actually in a meeting that you all watched yesterday, and they told me point blank that the resolution 358 is still on course. So people who called, people who made messages from China, saying that they have, they want to congratulate the uh, person of the AGC, whether well, it's Sergio of what, Ayamba, and the rest. They have made sure that that resolution has been taken out. You see how much you disgrace yourselves? No, that resolution is still on course, and a lot of things have changed. A lot of things have changed and uh, we are praying that the congress is going to take it i don't want this this uh video to be too long i want you to remain very short as short as possible and i want to thank all of you but i'll brief us through a writing i'll put up more videos on some of my discussions after this show and i want us to remain very committed i want to thank everybody that's been looking after the refugees to tell the refugees from bagan bakundu to the blm to all the counties in manu uh, uh, all these uh, uh, local government areas in manu all the local government areas in the blm county those in meme mezam indian uh, boyo bui I mean, everywhere, Momongo, Kutunja, Ndonga, Manto, everywhere that we might not be able to mention, Fako, and all other counties, please know that we are with you. The refugees in Dubai, in Cyprus, in Nigeria, in Ethiopia, everywhere, know that I'm thinking of you. My, my phone number is always there on WhatsApp, plus one, uh, 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 917-480-1068, plus one, you must put plus one because that's the American code, plus one, 917 480 uh, 1068, that's my number. I ask all of you, any problem you have, you channel to me. I can always be there to ensure that I can help in one way or the other, either giving you aid directly or trying to connect you to people who have aid. I want to thank Madame Pentacosta, who has been doing a formidable job to help the, the refugees in Nigeria. I want to thank Mr. Tem Martin, I want to thank Babila uh, Foundation, uh, Barista Agbo Bala, who also just went out to give some relief materials to refugees. I want to thank the U.S. Congress for giving me audience every time I go there, the senators, and to thank the governor of Maryland that I might be meeting in this side. I'm trying to make contacts. In fact, a lot of progress is going on. Thank the uh, our mayors around here, thank the, the, some of the bishops here that I've also met. A lot, there are a lot of things that we're doing in the background, so I want to thank everybody. We continuously thank, especially, uh, some 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 dignitaries at uh, the the the, the uh, uh, embassy uh, embassy of Bangladesh. We've been talking with some of them. We want to thank everybody. A lot of progress is on, on on track, and we continuously pray for everybody. I also want to seize the opportunity once more to reiterate my love and support for the leadership in jail, and to call for unity of all groups, and to ask that we should have social media ceasefire, and to let us know that there are just some people we can't erase. I unequivocally say that Isaac Ayotabe cannot go from jail, but I want to send this very strong message to anybody who cares to like or love me that Isaac Ayotabe remains the face of this revolution, and nobody can change it, no matter how much we try to twist him, how we try to vilify him, whatever be the case. I must say it very clearly to all of you that I have not seen anywhere after a long time where Sisi Ayotabe has been compromised. He has not been compromised. I'll repeat that 200 times, and I still have documents. 
and proofs to show that he remains a hero in this revolution. And I'll be doing injustice, like I told the poor of the bars, like I've told many people backstage, that I'll be doing injustice if I come to join you in insulting Sisekou Ayoktabe. I will not do it. And I want to say that for the very time that I've even doubted them about them being uh, 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 compromised or whatever, I'm very sorry about that. I also want to extend my sincere apologies to any other person who feel hurt by this live show. I know you might not like some of the things that I've said here, but I'm sorry, but I want to beg all of you that we come together. I also want to use the opportunity to thank Dr. David Makongo, uh, Honorable Weber, uh, uh, Justice Ayapo, Abine, all other patriots and all the journalists who have been working hard to report our issues. I'm thanking Prince Hansen in uh, 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 G4, uh, Prince Hansen, Mimi Merfo, uh, all other persons, activists like Ray Tima, Atanga Chiri, everybody that has been uh, actually working hard to ensure that the revolution goes on. Joshua Carr, Yannick Sikot, Kemi Ashu, uh, um, I cannot, uh, James Braddock, all the activists, I want to thank you all and to say that we must remain committed to the cause of this fight. God bless you and uh, God bless the Federal Republic of Ambazonia. Let's stay focused and ensure that nobody breaks us. We'll continue talking and we should remember that we should not submit to any Blue Army, Red Army or any cabal anywhere because we have already defeated the five these are failures. I want to thank Pastor Ashu, who has also been praying with me very closely and for everything he does. God bless you and keep on, keep on pushing the fight. We'll take it and we'll take it out there and it is ours to win. Let us unite as a team and look for a unity platform to work all together. God bless you. Bye-bye.